Um, Push-ups can be anything you can do of any ability. You don't need to have any strength really to do them. Um, so I'm going to talk to you today about the techniques, how to progress and how to regress. I won't regress, it just means it makes it more easier. So um, some of you may or may not be familiar with some of the push-up options that are available to you. I'm just going to go through them. So the most beginner version of a push-up is a wall push-up. So, with any pressure, you want to make sure that your hands are under your shoulders, okay? Wrists under your shoulders. Your elbows come back a 45 degree angle. Okay, so option one on the wall. Okay, so this is the most beginner option. As it becomes easier, you move to the floor. Now, the first floor option we have available to us is to use a raised surface. So you go on your hands and knees like so. So in close position. Okay, and then you just come down and up. Just like you did before. And then to make it a little bit harder, we're just gonna move our knees a little bit further out. And you can see again. Then as that becomes easier, we are going to move back down to the floor. So the next option, again on your hands and knees, so always making sure and your shoulders and your hips. So then to make this harder again, move our body forward. So again, you can see my shoulders are over my wrist. So make sure your bum is down, squeeze your bum in. We want to make sure that whatever option you choose, your chest is close to the floor. This is a quarter pusher. We want full range. So your chest is almost touching the floor. Now when you're able to complete several repetitions, so when you enter the sort of 15 to 20 repetitions of this, we can make this harder. <coughs> to help us build even more strength. So the option we have available to us, isometric hold. So we come down, we're going to hold for a few seconds, maybe four, three, two, one, and up. So what we're doing is we are increasing our strength and ability and sticking to the exercise. That is going to help us build more strength. Once you can get 15 to 20 of these with isometric hold, then we can look at perhaps doing a full push up. So again, squeeze your butt in. So at no point do we want our elbows flaring out. Why don't we want this? Well, this is going to put a lot of strain on your rotator cuff. You don't want any shoulder injuries. So this, a lot of people put their hands way further in front of their body and they do this. This is not a push-up. Wrist under shoulders, okay? We can alter the push up slightly, we can make it more. So, typically, the push up hits the chest and the triceps, chest predominantly, triceps and secondary muscle. But we can make this more of a tricep focused exercise by bringing our, tucking our elbows in completely, okay, and brushing your elbows against the body. Diamond push up in the diamond shape. So, see that's far more challenging. Obviously, then you've got trap push ups, one up push ups, weighted push ups, you can put weight on your back. So, for those of you who are struggling to get your push up, I would urge you try the wall, try a raised surface. Get yourself a step, a bench, a bed, whatever's available to you at home. Work on those, work on good form. Make sure that whichever option you choose, your chest is almost touching the floor so you know you've got good form. Full range of motion, no quarter reps. Work on it, do them as often as you can. If you can do them daily, if not a few times a week. The more you do something, the stronger you become at it obviously and hopefully eventually we get a full push-up i hope this helped guys i will be doing more videos like this so please stay tuned thank you